Hi everyone, this is Master Ian Crock with Sam J Taekwondo. I'm back here today with a new game for you guys. So we're going to come on over here with Ethan and Isabel and we're going to check it out. Alright, the game we're doing today is a game I'm sure you guys have done before in class. It's a very simple tag game. So with a partner, either your mom and dad or your brother and sister, we start off the game. Alright, you guys are going to want to be a little bit closer. So we bow to each other first. Chat, can you? All right, and then we get fighting position. Now, remember, with the tag game, the key is you start off with your both hands out. Extend your hands out, guys. One hand should be on top of the other. That's your starting position, all right? So bring your arms back in. We want to begin with our knees bent. All right, so now they can go forward or they can go back. The way the game works, all right, we're going to start with Isabel. She's going to tag first. Whenever her front foot moves, that's her move. She can hop, she can slide, she can step. Okay, it's entirely her choice. She can move her arms around to fake Ethan out if she wants. <laughs> but when she moves her front foot, that's her turn. All right, so let's set up. Ethan's job is to try to escape. He gets to move his front foot once. So let's see how this works in practice, guys. All right, so hands out. Let's get our position. Now, Isabel has to try to tag him. All right, let's go, Isabel. Did she get you? All right, so if she gets him, he has to go down and do two push-ups really quickly. One, two, one, two, and then he hops back up. Every time, they reset their distance. All right, good stuff, guys. Do you have your distance? Now it's Ethan's turn. Remember, he gets one move with his front foot. So whenever that moves, even if he takes a tiny step now by accident, that's his whole move. He's not allowed to move anymore. And then Isabel can slide back, no problem. So let's reset our distance, guys, and let's do it properly. So knees are bent, so we're ready to go. Ethan's going to try to get in and slide. All right. If he tags her, Isabel has to do push-ups. If she escapes him, then he has to do push-ups. All right, let's go, Ethan. Ah, so he... <laughs> All right, so Ethan missed, so he does two push-ups. Excellent. Okay, let's try once more each, guys. So, again, we set our distance. Remember, knees are bent. It's not about where the arms move around. It's about that front foot moving because as soon as it goes, that's your turn. So if you scare the person and they step back too quickly, ah, that's his whole move. He can't move anymore. So Isabel can slide on her own. Ah, <laughs> all right. Excellent. And let's reset one more time, guys. Then we're going to go on to a variation of this game. Ah, your foot moved. Isabel's foot moved. Ethan slides in. Tag. Isabel does two push-ups. Go quick. <laughs> nice. All right, Isabel, if you could come take over the camera here, please. Okay, so variation on this game, all right, especially for those moms and dads, maybe you don't do taekwondo, you don't want to shoot back and forth, whatever the case is, you can still do it with your son or daughter, all right, so the way it works, you grab a paddle or something long, like I said, either a paddle or we also have pool noodles here in the dojang. You can pick something at home, all right? And you're going to do a very, very similar game. Now, the biggest thing to remember about these games, okay, they're reaction drills. When I'm sparring, all right, when we're here in fighting position and we're sparring and kicking back and forth, He's responding to me. So when I move, he needs to either move or he needs to lift his leg and counter. Okay? Or when he attacks, I need to move. So this is what we're kind of learning with this game. So with that in mind, all right, I start off here. We're in fighting position. We get our distance. Now, if I'm the mom or dad with the stick or the paddle, my job, okay? is to tag them. 
So I hold it here. He can't move until I reach. Okay, so the paddle's back here, paddle's back here, I reach, and he moves. Okay? So if he gets away, he doesn't do push-ups. If he doesn't get away, <laughs> we won't make him do push-ups. <laughs> so the skitter distance again, and you can use it from the paddle, or you can even use it from the elbow. So if I'm here in fighting position, okay, I've got the paddle here. Remember, I want him to react to my move. So I'm here, here I move out, and he goes back, okay? We reset our distance. Now, it's his turn to slide and catch the paddle, okay? So he's got to slide in to try to tag it. All right, I'm moving the target away. So one more time, the variation. Okay, let's get our distance. Paddle's out here. He gets one move. Nope. <laughs> All right, so those are two ways to do this game, either with a partner or with your mom and dad with a paddle or stick. But remember, the key reason we're doing this game, besides the fact it's fun, is we're trying to get that reaction. We want the person or the student to watch the movement and respond to it. And that's how we get kind of the back and forth going on. All right, so this is Mastery and Crocker. Until next time, bye-bye.